Hey, this is Jim at Edustream TV. Thanks for staying with us today. As you can see, we're being joined in studio by a special guest. I have George Slipper from LiveView. George, welcome to the show. Hey, Jim. Nice to see you. Thanks for having us. So our point of Edustream TV is really to reach out to educators across the country and to talk about how live production and streaming can fit into their entire workflow. We're focusing today on some of the sports production, but really those same tactics and techniques can expand to any department, as we mentioned on our show a little bit earlier. What I'm going to do is have George present to you the Live View Solo, which is a super affordable way to take any single camera or switcher and now stream with cellular bonded technology from anywhere to anywhere. So really, their audience can view whatever the content is that they're producing. So George, as great as it is to have you in studio, I'm going to give you a little opportunity to introduce yourself, but then we really have to get to the star of the show, which is this guy right here, the Live View Solo. Yeah, no, thanks, Jim. I appreciate uh, it. Please, tell us a little bit about Live View. Tell us about the technology that really makes this product up. Sure. So, um, you know, my name is George Klippel, Director of Channel Sales at Live View, and uh, I've been here about six years. And, you know, first, before we jump into the device itself and talk about what it does, i give you a little bit about uh, the company's background. We were founded in 2006. We're the industry leader about IP cellular transmission. We've been around for a long, long time, have tons of customers, over 4,000 customers uh, around the globe, doing 21 million annual live sessions, almost 1,000 terabytes of monthly <laughs> transmissions. It's crazy. And we're the proven experts in this, uh, in this field. And again, around since 2006, so uh, we invented this space. Yep. And I love saying that, just inventing the space of something and being around it so long, it's just been, it's just been great to be here and a part of it. The solo itself, um, you know, before you know, I talk about the education customers, it's neat to look at some of our global customers using this product because they're all over the place. They come from all the different types of fields, whether it's the broadcast industry, uh, whether it's you know, television, sports, whether it's nonprofit organizations, you'll recognize some of these uh, customers on the screen that you see now. And when we look at our education customers, right, they're, again, global. They're all over the place. Yep. They're, you know, University of Michigan, Michigan State, Arizona, you name it. But they're using this process day in and day out to really enhance their productions on campus and do stuff that they've never been able to do before. So it's really cool. Absolutely. And I appreciate the background because it's important. A lot of the people viewing might know the Live View name mm -hmm. from broadcasting events like the Olympics. And the Absolutely. product we're talking about today, the Live View Solo, is the same technology that makes up all of the Live View products. It put into kind of an affordable system that addresses the needs that a lot of you might be looking for. It really might be the perfect fit encoder to get into the cellular bonding, to get into the product, and that's where we're going to segue to the Live View Solo itself. Yeah, exactly right. You're exactly right. When you look at the education landscape, I like to say education is this you know, big and wide vertical for people to use the product because it's not just one use case. When you take a look at education, you have many use cases and many places that the solo fits into perfectly. Yep. It fits into drama departments, athletics, broadcast journalism programs, the social media teams on campus, the public relations department, graduation ceremonies, audiovisual departments. So it's not just one size fits all when you're on a campus, uh, uh, you know, education campus, university, sure. high school, it really plays a role in all of these different verticals. And when you look um, at, uh, you know, athletics, for example, you'll find some athletics uh, divisions using one, two, three of these solos to send back RTMP to a, a new tech TriCast or a sure. Wirecast or something. You'll see uh, the social media departments just doing Facebook posts all the time or post to Twitter, et cetera. So there's so many different use cases for this one individual product, it's just amazing on how campuses use uh, the technology. A absolutely, and I think sports is an obvious example because you can take this out onto a football field where you don't have the network infrastructure. But one of the things we run into with schools all the time is sometimes the network infrastructure inside the building isn't easily accessible. Right. So when you have an organization comes in and they want to stream their meeting, when you need to stream your Board of Ed event, or when you need to make sure that uh, the auditorium can be broadcasted out to the entire community, the Live View Solo gives you that reliability and redundancy 
that now you're, you can combine your network, your Wi-Fi network, your cellular networks, and be guaranteed to be able to communicate to the outside world and send your video there. Yeah, the, the nice thing, when you look at education as a whole, right, most campuses are wired tremendously. A sure. lot of campuses are internet to schools, right, and they yeah. have the greatest wire, you know, networks installed on the campus in the buildings themselves. But once you move out onto the baseball fields, the, right. you know, the pitch or wherever, right, you, you start to lose that connectivity, right? Yes. And that's where the solo comes into play with bonded connectivity. And we'll talk about that a little bit more now in a second. So let's talk absolutely. about that with let, the product let, overview, right? Great segue. Absolutely. <laughs> so, and this is the product we're overviewing right here, which right. is the Live View Solo. Yeah, it's really, it's designed to really be for anyone who needs to stream high quality, reliable mobile video from, like you said, anywhere, anytime to any social media destination or CDN, right? Yep. And it's basically this one touch shoot and stream and publish solution. So it can be an output from a camera, output from a switcher. It can connect to anything, if you will, and go and stream, a, you, you mentioned this a moment ago, you can bond cellular modems, you can bond Wi-Fi, you can bond ethernet all together. And what you're doing is creating this big fat pipe to the internet to send your signal out from this camera or this switcher and essentially transport those IP packets through our cloud layer to any destination of your choice. That's the magic of this device. Yes. And it does it seamlessly without a lot of, you don't have to be a technical genius to use this uh, tool. It's really easy to use, simple to use, and it gets your feed to any CDN that you want to go to. And the features that you have with this device, there's three things that are really cool about it. First off, it's very lightweight, weighs about a pound. And that includes with the battery in it, right? Yep. There's a three hour battery that comes with it. You can get an external battery to add three more hours to it. It has a plug that comes in, so you can always have it plugged in if you want. Uh, you can get multiple modems, and we're gonna talk about our special Solo Connect kit here coming up in just a minute. Yep. It has SDI, HDMI or SDI HDMI combinations, so you can get them in multiple configurations depending on what your school's needs are. And then again, you can point to any destination you want and control this thing remotely. Perfect. Yeah, so yeah. we'll talk about the portal in a second, but before I get to the portal, we do have some secret sauce, Jim. Now, everybody says they got secret sauce, but I think we have the best tasting secret sauce. And the secret sauce? is what's got to put all of these network connections together, right? <laughs> that's right, that's right. The secret sauce we have is called LRT, or Live View Reliable Transport. There's a lot on this slide, but it's really important to point out the packet ordering, dynamic forward error correction, acknowledge and resend, adaptive bit rate encoding. I know it's a lot of technical jargon, but really what this means is that Live View Solo, we guarantee that our packets are going to get back to your destination completely in sync at highest quality available, audio and video in sync going from that camera remotely to that destination, Facebook or YouTube or wherever you're saying it, sending it. That's what our LRT does and that's our secret sauce. And it's not just in the solo, but it's in our entire product portfolio. So even the highest end product that we sell, it's also in our solo product as well. So that makes it very, very unique. So, George, I'll tell you, I don't know what Chick-fil-A puts in their special sauce, <laughs> but right. I know it makes the chicken sandwich taste better. That's right. And so <laughs> when you're talking about the secret sauce, what we're really talking about is the transmission of your video going over your network connections, going over your cellular network. Mm -hmm. Live View is taking all of that in the cloud, yep. putting it together, and sending it to your audience with the error correction. So if your signal drops down, it's trying to maintain the sync, maintain the signal, so that your audience is gonna have the best viewing experience possible. That's right. And so arriving, without getting into the techie details, that's right. the secret sauce just makes it better. And, and that's right, and <laughs> as good as Chick-fil-A, by golly. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so talking about the portal for a minute, this is one of the things that's also really important. We have an excellent portal. It's a web-based uh, portal that can be accessed from anywhere in the world. This is where you activate your units, you sign up for your data plan, it's command and control of multiple units if you have them. You do your analytics, setting things up, setting up your destinations, stuff like that. We have things called one-touch destinations, which are really cool. These are the most common destinations, and if you're an admin for the account for, say, YouTube or your school's Facebook account, yep. you don't even have to go out and get a stream key and put a stream ID in and manually type all those things in. You just simply log in to that account and you're the admin and you just say, go to Facebook and the stream goes right to Facebook without having to go and get that information, put it in manually. 
Plus, we have additional streaming destinations, 39 of them today. We keep adding to those all the time. Uh, places like Akamai, uh, Kaltura, um, you know, Ustream, other destinations. Now, these are ones that you would go out and get the stream ID and stream key and manually yep. insert those in. And this is all included um, as part of the portal that you get when you get your live view solo. Absolutely. And I want to tell all of those watching us today, if you go to the videoguys.com YouTube channel, we actually have a quick three minute video that walks you through this Live View Solo portal and configuring LRT and getting the Live View Solo set up. And if you see all of the configuration that we do in just those few short minutes, it really reinforces the message of how easy this is yep. to set up and use. And with this being browser based, it's not only easy, but it could be done anywhere. And that's really one of the greatest advantages. Yeah, and I think that's especially true when you're talking about education. Sometimes the technical person might be at home and then somebody needs support and they're out at the football game or they're, you know, on site at an event. And the tech person, all they have to do is log into a browser. They take over control of the unit and yep. they can actually start the recording, stop the recording, go on to one of these destinations and fix it remotely. It's re really an invaluable resource. That's perfect. So now we're going to get into the actual product itself and the product offering. Mm -hmm. And the way we boil this down is to really say it's as easy as one, two, three. There is a three-step process in going through the purchasing decision and making sure that you get the right configuration for your school. It's not complicated at all. The first step is choosing the encoder itself. That's right. There's two models to choose from. Yeah, exactly. You can choose between the HDMI model or the SDI and HDMI model. So it does come down to just what's your preference. If you have all HDMI cameras on your campus, then that's the one you want to go with. It's the least expensive model that we have in the product offering. offering. Uh, but again, if you're a school that has a mixed uh, model uh, uh, solution with cameras that are SDI and HDMI, then you want to choose the unit that has both inputs, really. Exactly. And, and again, that's important. I'm glad you said it that way. It does have both inputs. So you're not mm -hmm. making the selection as you are with some products, HDMI or SDI. It's important to note that the Live View Solo unit with the SDI connection does give you both. So it'll work with all your HDMI cameras as well as SDI. Yeah, and I and think another important note to point out is that a lot of schools will have HDMI cameras, right? And they'll say, well, then I just want the HDMI unit. But they'll also have maybe a fly pack, like a new tech TriCaster, that they go out for graduation and they do multi-cam shoots, right? Yep. And they'll want to take that TriCaster out and have four cameras for graduation, but that, as, then they want to take the SDI out of the TriCaster and use us for transport. So it's important to remember those things because then sure. you want the SDI model so you can use that in the field when you're at graduation in the big event stadium or somewhere else outside and you can take that SDI feed out of that TriCaster and use this as transport to get to your CDN. Absolutely. And now that brings us to the, actually before we get to the next step, we are going to talk about the academic discounts here, right? That's right. Yeah, we've been, we just showed a, a list price there on the screen and the $9.95 and $14.95. Right. All academic institutions get a 20% discount and that's for qualified schools and instructors and all of that so just make sure that you call video guys to get the information on your yep. quote and all of that right exactly and yeah. you know we work with schools we accept purchase orders uh, P cards any way that you need will help you qualify for the academic discount uh, if you're a school purchaser or a teacher looking to add it to your classroom or department we can help you qualify for those discounts and we work very closely with live you yep. as is evident by you being in our <laughs> studio today that's right uh, the next step is the Solar Connect modems. Now the modem kits and the data connections itself are available in two configurations. The two USB modems, which is actually what I have hooked up here, or you could get a three modem kit. Can you tell us a little bit about the differences there? Yeah, so the unit you, you just uh, were showing with the two modem connect kit is really just two modems that are connected to the USB ports on the device. Then there's that third modem connect kit, and you can see there's a square device there, a, a neck ear device, and that's from AT&T. So the two modem and three modem connect kit, the different main differences are is that you'll have additional capacity for connectivity, right? Sure. So when you want, to, when you want that is when you're working in remote areas or when you're working in areas that are maybe crowded with people. So think a big stadium or something where you have a football game and maybe you have 10,000 fans in the, in the stadium, right? That's when you might want to look at adding that third uh, modem in that connect kit. And the nice thing about this 
third modem connect kit is that uh, AT&T Nighthawk is both a Wi-Fi unit and an Ethernet connection. So you could actually have, let's say, uh, that uh, you're on campus and you have campus-wide Wi-Fi, so that could be a third connection to your solo, Wi-Fi and two of the USB modems like you have plugged in now, yep. and then you could connect that Netgear uh, Nighthawk, that AT&T Nighthawk, as an Ethernet connection and actually have four bonded connections going at one time for your event. And when you're talking about bonded or IP cellular transmission, the more connections, the better. So keep that in mind when you're you know, choosing between your, the differences, right? There is a cost difference, absolutely for sure. And you have to you know, think about your location, where you're at, and what you're doing. And when you're consulting with the folks at Video Guys and the, the resellers that they work with, uh, they'll help you through that process. But that's really the main differences that you and, want to point out. And absolutely. And since you talked about the data, that's exactly what brings us to the next step. Before we talk about the data, for your schools that are looking to get all of this hardware together, what we've done here is we've taken the Live View Solo HDMI or the Live View Solo with the SDI and HDMI, and we've combined that in the bundle with either the two modem or the three modem kit. These bundles are available as an easy direct to purchase right from our website, and all we're doing is basically taking the encoder, taking the modem connections, and putting them together in a single hardware purchase, making it easier for you to send that single link to the purchasing department at your school and saying, that's what I need. And that's really the goal behind these kits, right? Yeah, and exactly. And if our TD can put those up again one more time full screen for everybody, just remember these prices that you see here are our list prices, and you'll get 20% off as an education institution or an instru our instructors, right? Yep. So just remember that on the pricing, and when you get a hold of video guys and that, they'll remind you of that as well when you're calling a, as Absolutely. an educational institution. But having the bundles put together like that makes it really easy for you guys to just make your uh, purchase for your institution, and just making that decision on which one works best for you between two or three modems is really what's most important. Uh, uh, absolutely, absolutely. And then you're going to take those, you're going to register the Live Use Solar Encoder at Live Use Portal that George showed off earlier, yep. and then you're going to activate the modem plans. Now, you can always take your cellular plans, your SIM cards, put them in the USB modems, and you're ready to go. The advantage of the Solo Connect services is now Live View is becoming a single source for not only the hardware, but also the data connection to get up and streaming. And George, one of the things I found when we're talking to schools specifically, when you can have a sole source for everything to work from beginning to end along the way, it makes it easier for them to communicate that across the departments and across the entire campus. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of advantages too, right? One, we don't do throttling. That's one huge thing. When you see some of the, some of the contracts that the carriers have, they'll start throttling at a certain gigabyte level of, of usage. So that's really something that you need to pay attention to. Secondly, purchasing departments don't want to deal with Verizon and T-Mobile and AT&T and have three different contracts that they have to juggle yep. uh, every single month. So having you know one manufacturer that they're able to just get the data through is uh, really easy, and most of our customers do it that way. Um, and then lastly, uh, you're able to suspend your data at, at a certain time, you know, if you need to. If you're a school that only uses the unit for nine months out of the year or 10 months out of the year, we can suspend your data and you don't have to pay for it during those years that you're, or those months that you're off for the summer break or the winter break or what have you, and then restart your data plan again when you come back in uh, to session. So there's a lot of advantages of getting your data plan through uh, LiveView. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the things, the piece of feedback we get from a lot of schools is when they see all of the additional productions that they can do in using the LiveView Solo, it's very easy to now go after the boosters or a local sponsor and start adding them to support the videos. And now you're broadcasting all this additional content. It becomes very easy to pay for these data plans itself. Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, some schools that uh, use the, the units and they actually charge the uh, parents or the student, um, the, uh, the uh, parent clubs or whatever, a dollar a month. Uh, sure. So they can stream all of the different games and the different activities and uh, then parents who are traveling or, or out of the, out of, uh, the area, uh, grandparents and cousins or whatever, can watch their kids play in different games or watch them in the, the theater uh, and whatnot. So it's, 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 it's a lot of different ways that you can have uh, the units paid for. So. Awesome. George, I really want to thank you for going over the Live View Solo. And I Absolutely. have to tell you, we started the EdgeStream show 
on Tuesday, and one of the first questions that came up was about the LiveView solo and how it compares to some of the other LiveView encoders that you talked about that are being used in broadcast, that are being mm. used to broadcast the Olympics. I know there's the LU300, LU600, LU800. Uh, so this is kind of the entry into the LiveView world. When does a school or a purchaser need to start considering some of the other units? Yeah, you know, that's a, that's a great question. So when you're looking at a Solo, you need to remember that Solo is an RTMP out device, right? So you're okay. feeding things like the, tr the new tech TriCaster you can feed or Wirecast, or, but you're mainly using the Solo when you're thinking about going to destinations like CDNs, like Facebook and YouTube, and that's the type of production that you want to do, right? It doesn't have... Uh, things like IFB, it doesn't send a signal output to a physical server that gives you uh, SDI output or NDI output like we're using today in your studios and things like that, right? Sure. So when, when you want to start looking like at the LU300 or the 600 or the 800 is when you're starting to do uh, higher end productions, uh, Remy type of productions where you use multi-camera like on the LU800 which has four inputs into the device, a single device, right? Okay. Uh, or when you, where you're a broadcast journalism program where you're wanting to teach them the tools that they're going to find when they go out to work at NBC or CBS or CNN or Fox or the broadcast networks, right? Where you yep. want to start teaching them those actual tools they're going to use when they graduate. That's when you want to start looking at those higher end, end tools, or, or maybe where you want to, uh, you have an insert studio on campus, and you're you want to take your uh, your provost or your university president, and you want them to be uh, uh, to to get media hits into CNN or whatever. That's when those other tools yep. really become important for you to consider versus the solo, because that's what those tools are designed for. Uh, absolutely. So really, what you're doing is the remote and the contribution to a live view server, and that live view server could be at a broadcast channel anywhere, it could be on the main campus, mm -hmm. it could be anywhere in the world. And Absolutely. the greatest thing about what we offer here at Video Guys is if you are interested in going to that level, we have a huge nationwide network of system integrators that we work with. Some of them probably already have a relationship with your school, and we can help pair you up with the right person who can talk to you about the LU 300, 600, 800, the live view servers to make them all work together, or tell you quite honestly that the live view solo is the right tool for what you need to accomplish, and everywhere along the way and everything else in between. George, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. It's always a great time. <laughs> if you have any questions about live view, you can reach out to George or you can reach out to videoguys.com. We are here to help answer all of your questions, and we hope to help you and your school get up and running. We have a great show planned next Tuesday as well, where we are going to focus on a lot of the PTZ cameras, most of which can be put into a live view solo if we wanted to. Um, and then we're going to talk about some of the auto tracking capabilities and great stuff. George, always a pleasure. Yeah. Have a great rest of yeah, the day. Yeah, thank you. You too. Bye-bye.